Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We are up here at pasture. Doing a little pasture check. We had quite the rain the other night and I thought I'd come up and check on them. The wind is blowing, so this might not work out as usual, but here they are guys. Put out just a little bit of barley for them to get them to come over to me. They uh, didn't want to come down. Boy, Opal looks kind of raggedy. It was quite the storm we had yesterday and uh, looks like they're all here and accounted for though, so we're doing pretty good. They're happy, look at, man, she's slicking off already a little bit, old Ruby is. She is too. That's Betsy. Who we got here? Just took a little tinkle. Who we got? If I had to guess, it's Rio. Let's see if he'll look at me. If it's number 22, it is. That is Rio. And of course, that's Brooke back there. So that's her, his mom. These guys are doing pretty good. Hello, Holly. You're looking happy. Everybody's doing pretty well. Let's go sneak around the other side and get a peek at Opal. Perhaps Hawkeye. There's Opal. <laughs> She's a little fuzzy. Not too bad. They're dried out. I mean, it was it was an interesting night the other night. For us, it was a pretty good rain. I don't know how much it was, but it was a pretty good rain for us. They're all doing pretty good. There's Hawkeye right in front of us. And his eye is looking good let's zoom in of course that's his good eye show me your other eye there hawkeye show me your other eye ain't gonna show it to me huh okay we'll back back out now when it's early season we like to come up quite often when these calves are still young like this you know we got some one and a half month old calves there um is some of them two months old i don't think so i think we're more about one and a half months old right now and on the oldest ones but uh we like to come up kind of often and check them out there's his eyeball looking pretty good hawkeye oh yeah looking pretty good there buddy you can see it's not sticking out as far getting dark kind of like a normal eyeball and i'm just super super happy about that but anyways they're all gathered up here just snuggled in close to each other it's quite the group when you, when you have them so close like we did, this is really interesting because in years past, we haven't been able to get them that close. And we really tried last time. And we got these seven pretty close to each other. So they're, they're grouped up pretty hard and they end, uh, just kind of like being around each other. So they're always in a little bit of a, a group there. And so the other two down below are probably going to end up grouping to get together, I, ma I imagine, as soon as Margie has her calf. Let's see if again. Show me that eyeball. If you guys remember what his eye looked like, that is really doing well compared to what it was. I hate to keep talking about it, but we're just so excited about the fact that we might not have to pull his eye out of there. I might just do better for him. The grass is not growing very well, guys. Let me take, give you a little walk up here. Never mind the, uh, the glare from the sun. But with that rain we had here yesterday, and of course during the night, it's gonna really help. But it's pretty sparse, as you can see, guys. Pretty sparse grass over here. We just need it to start growing. Today's been pretty helpful. The sun's been out, and it's been in the 50s. And grass grows in the 50s. I wouldn't say it grows the best, but and of course this is that, what I call swamp grass or whatever they don't enjoy it as much they will eat it but we got some better grass up here usually take a little walk up here I can hear the crick in the background so the level must be up a little bit from our storm you see a little bed bed down right there they just been kind of hanging out in here which is usual for this time of year because this grass is a little bit tastier up here Let's see here. <clears throat> well, it's still pretty skimpy, guys. We just need, we need some 60s and 70s probably with this rain to get it going. So hopefully we're only a few days away from having some 70 degree days. And hopefully it'll turn around. But uh, I mean, there's enough to pick at here for a while. 
look down this way. You can kind of see my jack fence we built. A little bit of it over there in the corner. So this grass right here should start growing pretty good in the coming week, hopefully. And then maybe we'll get a couple more rains in May. And hopefully, if we can have a somewhat rainy June for us. <laughs> and if you guys have not been with us for very long, you know, we live in an area that gets like maybe seven inches of rain on average a year. And last year, we got a bit more than that, so that was exciting. But hopefully this year we'll do the same because the grass was way better last year. And uh, we still ran out at the end. But if we can get that rain. Look at that little herd, guys. Gathered around my little machine there. Normally when they hear my machine come in, they come running, but they just were way up top and didn't hear me. But I tell you what, that's a, that's a good sight right there. That one already laid back down. That's probably Huckleberry laying down, maybe not. He's kind of lazy. <laughs> Is it Huckleberry? Let's go find out. If I was a betting man, because he is kind of a lazy little guy. Let's see who we got here. Oh, is it? Oh, that's tough. Well, Tufts. Huh. Cool. Oh, there's Huckleberry over there. He is going to be a nice little bull. We left him a bull, you guys, and he's already kind of smelling up the ladies, so to speak. Um, however, we're going to put him up for sale. So look for that at the end of the season, possibly the end of the year. He is going to be a nice one. And two others, Hawkeye and Tough. These two here, we've tried to ban them I don't know how many times. Uh, when we tried, the day we moved them actually, we, we kind of corralled them and lassoed them and kind of held them down in order to ban them. And uh, we just couldn't get them for some reason. They've been the toughest little animals to ban. And I guess, uh, you know, for lack of better terms, um, some of the testicles in the two have not dropped, so to speak, which is kind of unusual, but probably not unheard of. And uh, like him, he could only get one out, and I, I need to get both of them. So what happened was is we brought them up here unbanded. So right now they're bull calves. So tough is right there. And of course, see Hawkeye is also a uh, is also a bull calf still. So they're gonna have to probably get steered in this the fall when we bring them off of here. And I'm assuming it'll still be fine at that point. Just a different process. Unless I run into somebody that's looking for another bull. So in that case, maybe we'll still have a couple bulls, but not the best bulls. So we really want to steer them. And that's what the plan is. But other than that, is that, uh, that chestnut over there? He's a big dude, isn't he? He is a big dude. He's the youngest one out here, guys. And of course he is out of that, out of Holly, the Akaushi mix. So it's no surprise that he would be bigger. But uh, he is a big guy and a little little opal. She is just a teeny little. <laughs> oh man, but she's cuter than cute, isn't she? She's all a, a shade of her own out here with all these other ones. Thanks for coming along, guys. I just come up here to check the calves and I thought I'd give you a little peek on what's going on. This is their fourth day, I believe, on pasture right now. And uh, they're doing good. I'm expecting them to lose a couple pounds from that you know all that hay they were eating which is actually you know they get down to summer weight they sleek off a little bit and look better and from from what I can see you know I kind of like like what I'm seeing right now but we do need some more grass to grow look forward to that Betsy's our biggest one and she is still looking good she looks full but you're probably wishing you had some hay huh I know, <laughs> I know, but you're play <laughs> you were way too big in the corral, just way too big, so. Oh my goodness, what an evening. Gotta go back and do some chores and uh, wrestle up some supper, hopefully. Hey Huckleberry, you are a good looking little bull. I tell you what, you know, you almost got a little bit of a 
tinge of a color of a huckleberry on you there for some reason, but man, that's a good looking low line bull right there, guys. Thanks for coming along. I will check in with you another day. Have a good one.